right, so happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and in the same way, this very tricky algebra question. We have x squared minus 2 equal to square root of x plus 2. And a lot of students might be saying, hey, Mr. This is like very easy question. We just need to square both sides. And I say, okay, I agree with you. But in the same way, in my experience, a lot of students solve this question absolutely incorrect because they forget about one really important moment. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve this question correctly and step by step. So right now, as I told before, let's square both sides. Okay, let's start with this with this step. Let's square mm, our both sides. So let's do this right now. So as a result, what do we have right here? X square minus 2. We're going to square it on the left side. And we have square root of x plus 2. We're going to square it on the, on the right side. But a lot of students forget about this very important moment. Just look at this square root of x square plus 2. We need to mention that our expression inside the square root sign need to be positive. So our x plus 2 need to be greater or equal than 0. This is extremely important moment. And the second extremely important moment, this expression on the left side need also need to be positive. Because we're talking about square root sign, it cannot be negative. So x square minus 2 need to be positive, need to be positive as well. x square minus 2 need to be positive. And all of this root that we find right here, we will check in these two inequalities because some roots maybe we can we can reject. Okay, so this is extremely important part. So let's go back to this question. Let's square both sides. Let's do this right now. So this is our basic school uh, school identity. We just squared our a minus b to the second power or x minus y it doesn't matter. Let's square it. So as a result, we have x to the fourth power minus 2 times 2 times x square. Next we have plus 4. Okay, this is our, our left left side. What do we have on the right side? Equal to, we can easily cancel it. Okay, I agree with it. We can easily cancel our square root sign with the second power. So as a result, we have only x, x plus 2. Okay, right now let's bring all of these elements uh, from our right side to left side. We prefer 0 on the right side, so let's do this right now. So we have right here x to the fourth power minus, right here we can multiply it, so we have minus 4x square plus 4 minus x and minus 2 is equal to is equal to 0. Okay, this is our equation right now. And a lot of students are confused. How can we solve this uh, question? We have fourth power, so how can we solve it? Maybe substitution. But I'm going to show you a really great trick how can we solve it. A really interesting substitution. So from here, let our t is equal to 2. Really tricky substitution. When t is equal to 2, let's look closely what do we have. Then 4 will be our 2t, okay? 4 will be our 2t. Uh, this 4 is our t square, okay, this 4 is our t square, and right here we have t, only t, because t is equal to 2, this is our t. And I agree, this is a very tricky substitution, but it helps us a lot. You will see, like, in a few seconds, that this is extremely great uh, substitution. From here, what do we have? x to the fourth power, let's write our expression after this substitution, minus 2tx square, minus 2tx square, the next we have plus t square, plus t square, minus x, and minus t, minus t. And right now, why I made this substitution? Because right now I'm going to group. So right here we have t square, and uh, let's solve this question in perspective of t. Forget about x, let's try to create a correct order in terms of t. So as a result, t square on the first position, we're going to plug in. So we have right here t square on the first position. The next we're going to take with first power, so t and t. So we have minus 2tx square minus 2 dx square minus t and the next we have minus uh, we have plus x to the fourth power minus x plus i change nothing i just write a substitution and change an order a little bit minus x to the fourth power and we have right here plus yeah and minus x and minus x is equal to zero and right now let's look closely from another perspective right here we have equation in terms of x x to the fourth power right now we have equation in terms of t so when we factor from this expression when we factor uh, from this expression when we factor t as a result what do we have we have t square minus inside parentheses we have 2x square minus 1 times t when we factor t from these two expressions and plus x to the fourth power minus x. And uh, I hope you're not confused right now because if you look closely, this is basic quadratic equation. If you look closely, right here we have coefficient a, and this is 1, yeah? Right here, this is our coefficient uh, b, 
and right here, uh, right here, here plus, yeah, and right here, this is our coefficient, coefficient C. Okay, these are A, these are B, this is our C. So right now let's solve this, let's solve this uh, quadratic equation in terms of T. Let's do this right now. First of all, let's find our discriminant. Okay, discriminant equal to be here B square minus 4AC. B square, this is our expression to the to the second power. So we have 2x square plus 1 to the second power minus 4 times A equal to 1 and C equal to x to the fourth minus x, x to the fourth x to the fourth minus x. Let's simplify this a little bit. What do we have right here? We have parentheses raised to the second power. We have 4x to the fourth power, 4x to the fourth power. The next, what do we have? Plus 4x squared, plus 1. And we have right here minus 4x to the fourth power, 4x to the fourth power, and plus 4x. Yeah, plus 4 x. Okay, let's look closely. We can easily cancel this 4x to the 4th power and this one. And as a result, our discriminant equal to 4x squared plus 4x and plus and plus 1. This is our discriminant. But I hope you see right now that this is our basic school formula. This is our basic school identity. Our discriminant equal to, this is our 2x plus 1 to the second power. 2x plus 1 to the second power. This is our discriminant, this is our formula. When we raise these to the second power, we will have absolutely the same expression. But right now, let's find our square root of discriminant. We really need square root of d in our formula. And square root of d, it's really great for us uh, because we, we're going to cancel the second power with this square root sign. So we have 2x plus 1, we're going to raise these to the, to the second power. We're going to cancel this. And a correct expression in terms of algebra, uh, this is expression with absolute value brackets. Uh, it, this is a correct expression when we write this to x plus 1 with, with absolute value. This is a correct expression, so we're going to cancel these absolute value brackets, but just in case, let's leave it like that, because this is extremely important part. When we cancel square root sign, we need to put absolute value brackets. So right now, in the final move, let's find our t first and t second. So let's plug in each of these elements that we, know, we already know. Let's plug in into this uh, all, known, all known formula. So we have t first and second equal to, we have minus b plus minus square root of d and all over, all over to a equal to, we have minus b. 2x squared plus 1, 2x squared plus 1, this is our minus b plus minus square root of discriminant. And because of this plus minus, we can uh, easily cancel this square absolute value brackets right now, so we can easily write it inside parentheses. So 2x plus 1. And we divide it by 2 times 1 equal to equal to 2. Okay, this is our t first and t second. And right now, if you're talking about t first, let's 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 look at it in a perspective of positive sign and the second t second with the, with the negative sign. So let's start, for example, with t first, t first with the positive sign. As a result, what do we have? 2x square. So uh, absolutely the same thing, but right here we have a positive sign. 2x square plus 1 plus 2x and plus 1. We divide it by by 2. As a result, what do we have? 2x squared plus 2x and plus 2. So 2x squared plus 2x and plus 2. We divide it by, by 2. And as a result, we can easily cancel all of these 2s. We can 2. We can easily cancel it. And as a result, our t first equal to x squared plus x and plus 1. This is our uh, t first. Right now, let's find our t second. Let's see what will happen when we find our, our t second. So t second with the negative sign equal to, we have 2x square plus 1 minus, and because of this parenthesis, we need to uh, leave this uh, leave, leave these brackets, because uh, don't forget about this negative, we need to open parenthesis with the negative sign, so minus 2x minus 1, and all over, all over 2. We can easily cancel this one, yeah? And as a result, we have 2x square minus 2x, so 2x square minus 2x, we divide it by we divide it by 2. And as a result, we can also cancel this 2. As a result, we have x squared minus uh, x squared minus x. So we have x squared minus minus x. So what we already know from here? Let's write our uh, notes what we already know. t first uh, equal to x uh, squared plus x plus 1. So let's split this part and let's write our t first. t first equal to x squared plus x plus 1, this is our t first, and t second is equal to x square minus 
x. But don't forget about our substitution. Let's let's look closely what we had in the beginning. In the beginning we had t is equal to 2, okay? So right now let's write our substitution. So t is equal to 2, but t is equal to 2. This is extremely important point. So as a result, this expression equal to 2 and this expression is equal to is equal to 2. Let's write it. So we have x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 2 and also this one is equal to 2. So x square minus x is equal to is equal to 2. Okay, okay let's simplify this. So we have x square plus x, x square plus x and minus 1 equal to 0. This is our first, first equation that we need to solve. And the second equation we have x square minus x minus 2 is equal to is equal to 0. And we also need to solve this, uh, this quadratic equation. So right now let's solve it. Let's solve it. I need uh, one more paper because I don't have enough enough space right here. Okay, let's solve. For example, let's start with the with this one on the left side. So x squared plus x minus 1 equal to 0. So from here let's find our discriminant. This is our first equation. I wanted to rewrite it. Okay, x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. And we have the second x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, two quadratic equations. Let's solve, for example, this one. So discriminant equal to, we have b square minus 4ac, which is equal to, what do we have right here? b square, we have 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1. So our discriminant is equal to 1 plus 5, equal, uh, 1 plus 4 equal to, equal to 5. So from here, our discriminant equal to 5. So our x first and second equal to minus b, let's write our formula, plus minus square root of d and all over, all over to a. From here we have x first and second is equal to minus b, we have minus 1, minus 1, plus minus square root of 5, and all over 2 times uh, 1 equal to equal to 2. So this is our x first and second. And as I told before, we're going to check these roots into our inequality that we wrote in the beginning. So this is our x first and second. It looks like a great root, but we will check it a little bit later. And right now let's uh, solve this second quadratic equation. So x uh, square minus x minus 2 is equal to is equal to 0. Let's split it. Okay, something like that. And let's solve our, let's find our discriminant. So discriminant equal to, we have b square minus 4ac. So we have b square 1. We have plus 4 times uh, 1 and times 2. And this discriminant is equal to 9. So which tells us that right here we have mm, like a great root. Because when we plug in into our formula x, third and fourth, we will have minus b. So we have 1 plus minus square root of 9 and all over, all over 2. From here we have x, third and fourth equal to 1 plus minus 3 all over 2. So as you can see, we find our x third and 4. So x third equal to, let's go with the with the, with the the positive sign. With the positive sign, we have 1 plus 3, 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. And x fourth equal to minus 1. Okay, with the with the negative sign. So as you can see, we solve this question because we have x first and second, x third and fourth. But right now, let's go back to our substitute, uh, not substitution, but our two inequalities. First of all, I'm going to rewrite. I'm going to show you a final notes to this question. I'm going to rewrite first of all our uh, question from the beginning. In the beginning, we had x square minus two equal to square root of x plus 2. This is our question from the beginning and I'm going to write you that notes that we had in the beginning so this expression need to be positive so x x plus 2 need to be positive and the second inequality x square minus 2 also need to be need to be positive. This is all note that I uh, really need uh, right now and right now let's write our four roots because we're going to reject uh, some of these uh, some of these roots. We're talking about x first so okay, we're talking about x first equal to let's go x first with the uh, with the positive sign so we have minus one half let's divide it by two so we have minus one half plus square root of five over two this is our x first x second let's write it x second equal to uh, minus one half minus square root of five over two this is our x second so right here we have x first Right here we have x second, right here we have x third equal to 2, yeah? And we have the last one, x fourth equal to 
minus one. So as you can see, we find our our four four solutions. But as I told before, we're going to check it. So if we are talking about x first, x first minus one half plus square root of phi over two, this uh, root is not good for these inequalities. So when we plug in this uh, x first into this into these inequalities, we will not have uh, we don't have like real number uh, expression in terms of in terms of real numbers. So we're going to reject. So x first x first reject it we are going to reject uh, reject x first because this uh, this uh, approximately value when we add it is not good for these two inequalities so we reject this x first uh, what about x second x second equal to minus one half minus square root of phi over two this is a great a great uh, root for us because uh, this is approximately equal to approximately equal to minus 1.6 one eight and when we plug in this uh, right here when we plug in this uh, decimal approximation right here this is a great a great root for us so a great root for us let's check x third x third equal to x third equal to two when we plug in it right here it is a great moment for us to plug in it because this is like our integer so it's really easy to plug in it we have two plus two equal to four a great expression and four minus two a great expression so x third equal to two is also a great a great expression for us and the fourth root x force equal to minus one when we plug in it uh, minus one right here we have minus one plus two great expression but when we plug in it, this minus one to this expression we have one minus two which is negative so we reject x force x force is also rejected we reject this uh, this x x force Okay, so we still have two roots, x third and uh, x second and then third, but let's uh, write it as x first and second. Okay, let's write our final answer to this question. Okay, or something like that. So we have our answer. Our answer, x first equal to. Let's let's start with this integer solution. X first equal to two, and we have x second equal to minus one half, minus square root of five over 2 and it, this is approximately equal to minus 1.618 and we check we already checked this root into these two uh, two inequalities we can easily check real quick this two because it's really hard to and it will be like a long video when we check this uh, root into our expression but for example let's check real quick our two so let's let's check it let's check our x is equal to 2 x is equal what do we have as a result we have uh, 2 square minus 2 so we have 2 square minus 2 equal to square root of 2 plus 2 what do we have right here we have uh, 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 and right here we have square root of of 4 we have 2 equal to so as you can see our integer solution is great and also this one is uh, great because we solved it uh, question algebraically so here is my explanation i try to ex explain this question step by step i hope you understand it i hope you understand my uh, my explanation you can also write your question down into the comment section it will be really interesting to uh, to exchange information it will be really interesting to see your solution what do you think about this uh, about this solution it will be really interesting and really great to exchange information maybe a lot of students watch my video a lot of teachers so it's really great to exchange uh, to exchange information so this is my explanation i hope you learned something new i hope my explanation is understandable but uh, maybe you have question you can also write a question down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read your notes to read your thoughts down into the comment section thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life see you in the next videos and have a great day